Okay, right, so project number two is, is I noticed you have to do something to do with your family. So I thought, well, I would also do something where I would introduce photography into this, into this project. So there's a picture of me. I've just dragged that image in off, the, off, the, um, off my desktop. I've selected it with a selection tool. Now I'm gonna copy and paste. And this will cut my face, it will cut it out as an oval shape, as you can see in a second. There we go. So I'm just... So with the, with the original, I've just actually turned it off. I've turned the, um, the little eye icon, which enables me then not to, so you don't see the original image. Now I'm just picking up the, the copied and pasted, the pasted images of my face. There we go. Now I'm going to distort these. Now I'm going to use the, um, the transform tool. So I'll click on the transform tool. I'm going to make them slightly larger. So I'm getting them using the transform tool here. And then I'm going to also use the transform tool in a second to actually distort them. So let's make that one larger. Yeah, so I just clicked the wrong thing there. But there we go. So back on the transform tool and this one is the um, we click on that image there that which is like a net and um, in the tool options there on the right hand side and this enables you then to distort the photographic image If anyone wants to try and use, have a little play around with those tools down there on the transform tools, this is a really good, it's a really interesting tool to play with. Um, the liquify one is interesting, the one with the little sort of like it's like a sort of um, a drop. Um, a teardrop image uh, sign there, that's the liquify one. There we go. So. Now I've started to just basically work on using some of the techniques I've already used on the on the previous um, video, the, uh, previous project. Just playing around and introducing some symbols and images onto the face. So this is it, yeah, using the circle tool with um, no background, um, just the brush. So um, now I've used the, um, so now th this is the shapes tool, one of the random shapes tool, tool here, which is next to the circle tool. So you can do all different sorts of shapes, anything with, with a sort of square edge. So I've introduced this into this. And on this one, I've used the, the square shape tool with a fill. And in a minute, I'll use the square shape with no fill. So no fill and just with a brush for the next one. Now, I'm going to change the color there because the foreground color, background color on are the two little squares at the top left hand corner there. The top one is obviously the foreground, the background colour is the red. So I'm just changing the size of the, of the shape here, introducing some teeth into it. I'm 
I'll just you know, just add a little bit of three dump three D into the nose there. Now I'm going to just do a bit of a background in a second. So the background or the shape of the potent totem pole is made is that was done with that that tool there, the the shape tool. And also, oh, I turned that one into a clipping, um, uh, clipping, a clipping group again. So from the previous, um, the uh, previous uh, video, um, I introduced clipping groups. So I've actually turned that into a clipping group, so I can actually work on top without it, it um, um, interfering with anything else. So that background is a clipping, clipping group. Okay. Well, there we go. Thank you very much. Um, good luck with yours and um, see you soon. Bye.